A former military member alleges that the United States has a program dedicated to retrieving unidentified flying objects, UFOs. A former member of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and Air Force veteran is revealing previously undisclosed information regarding alleged extraterrestrial spacecraft that were reportedly recovered and kept confidential by the United States government. For those seeking proof that UFO stories may be grounded in reality rather than mere conspiracy theories, grainy videos of unidentified flying objects have long been a go-to source. However, in recent times, the government has become more active in researching these sightings. Congress established an official task force within the US government to investigate unidentified aerial phenomena, which was later renamed the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or AARO. Despite frequent sightings, NASA and other government entities maintain that there is no verifiable proof of extraterrestrial activity on Earth with the majority of incidents being ascribed to either natural occurrences or human-created items. David Grush, an Air Force veteran and former member of the task force, has recently come forward to blow the whistle on secrets that, according to him, have never been disclosed publicly before. In an exclusive interview with award-winning investigative journalist Ross Coulthard, who reported for News Nation, Grush shared insights on the topic of UFOs. Coulthard is a seasoned reporter who has dedicated years of his career to investigating and reporting on this subject matter. As a member of the U.S. defense establishment, Grouch, at the age of 36, was entrusted with the government's most sensitive secrets. During his tenure at the UAP task force, Grouch mentioned that the group was denied entry to a program for retrieving crashed objects. Grush explained that these technical vehicles, which are not of human origin, can be considered spacecraft and are used for retrieval purposes. These non-human exotic origin vehicles have either landed or crashed. Grush states that this encompasses spacecraft from a substantial number of different species. Grush recounted his initial disbelief upon encountering the situation, describing it as both insane and an apparent trick. However, as time went on, individuals began to approach and confide in him. Among those who shared their experiences were numerous former intelligence officers with whom Grush had worked throughout his career. They revealed that they had participated in the aforementioned program, divulging details to Grush in confidence. According to Grush, he was unaware of the program as it had been named by the officials mentioned. According to the speaker, Individuals gave him verbal accounts, as well as documentation and other evidence, confirming the existence of a program that the UAP task force was not informed about. According to Grush, the American government has been in possession of extraterrestrial vehicles for numerous decades. Recently, he filed a complaint as a whistleblower, claiming that he provided Congress and the Intelligence Community Inspector General with what he called classified evidence. Although News Nation has validated Grush's qualifications and CV, the news outlet has not been able to authenticate the evidence that Grush claims to have provided to investigators. Grush has mentioned that he cannot reveal the evidence to News Nation due to national security concerns. According to Grush, although he has not personally laid eyes on the supposed aircraft photos, he has had extensive conversations with fellow intelligence officials who have. According to Grush's statement to News Nation, the American public has been a victim of lies perpetuated for several decades. According to Grush, an unethical and immoral disinformation campaign is being carried out to deceive the American people. According to Grush's statements, it would mark the first instance of a US government official acknowledging the existence of extraterrestrial life, if proven accurate. Grush confirmed with certainty that the empirical data points to the fact that we are not alone, firmly establishing that our existence is not solitary. According to Grush, it's not only spacecraft that have been retrieved, as reported by News Nation. It's an inevitable occurrence when retrieving objects that have either landed or crashed, coming across deceased pilots. Although it may sound implausible, it's a fact, he stated. On Monday morning, journalist Leslie Keane unveiled Grush's story as a whistleblower in her publication, The Debrief. Keane has a reputable and widely recognized career in journalism and has contributed a series of exclusive articles regarding UFOs to the New York Times since 2017. 
According to her, comprehending the notion of an object that has crashed that belongs to someone else is more difficult for people. She believes that it is simpler to acknowledge the presence of unexplainable entities in the sky. Keen disclosed that in the past, she's been met with skepticism regarding her journalistic work. She specifically referred to a story in 2017 that reported on a UFO program within the Pentagon, which garnered a great deal of questioning from many. However, three years later, the government acknowledged the program's existence, confirming the veracity of Keane's reporting. As per Keane, there are several sources that corroborate Grush's account. Although Keane expressed a desire to see documents and photographs from Grush, their absence didn't raise any suspicious concerns for her. According to Keane, a major issue is that all the information in question is confidential. As stated in the piece, every detail that Grush disclosed to Congress and the Department of Defense Inspector General is classified, which poses a challenge. Grush acknowledges that there will be skeptics who doubt the authenticity of his story, but he maintains that he is recounting the truth. I want to make it clear that what I am sharing with you is not a fabrication. Despite the potential hazards to my personal safety and professional reputation, I am speaking to you honestly and candidly, he affirmed. The Pentagon informed News Nation that as of now, AARO has been unable to authenticate any evidence supporting the existence of programs related to the possession or reverse engineering of extraterrestrial materials, either presently or in the past. As per the statement, AARO is dedicated to pursuing the investigation wherever it leads based on the available data. Congress is set to receive AARO's comprehensive review of historical records and testimonies by June 2024. According to the group, they are eager to speak with any current or former employee or contractor who possesses relevant information pertaining to this historical review and welcomes the opportunity to do so. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.